Hi all. I am going to be highlight how can we change the ownership or a host permission to others in the Google Meet. For that I am going to be demonstrate this process in your two step the first steps i may highlight how to schedule the event in the google meet the second steps i may highlight how we can change the ownerships for the first steps how to schedule it for that i am going to the gmail in the gmail the right side the google calendar small icons are available once we click the icons of the google calendar a small interface of the google calendar may open I want to I feel to open here uh, the whole page of the Google Calendar that's why in the right side you may find out the small open a new tab once we click the open a new tab the full size interface of the Google Calendar it may available now there in the left side we may find out the multicolored plus button this is a button for create an event for the time once we click the plus symbol there is a small interface may open in this interface i am going to be fix the event so i want to check the the other features of the uh, event that's why i am clicking the more options in this interface once we click the more options there is a whole event fixing or scheduling the page may arise there i am clicking the uh, i am typing as a ad title for example i am giving a same as a demo google meet then we have to fix the date for example so i am going to fix the to the meetings may start from 10 o'clock to so i am fixing the 10 am to 12 am so we can fix the time like this then if you want to be repeat or recurring the events we can use this repeat options so this for the time then after that i am clicking the add and google meet video conferencing once we click the uh, this options immediately there is an code may generated so this is a code for organizing the meeting so even the participants once they click they may easily connect with our google meet so i am just clicking typing the the location just i am giving the university name of me just um, it's not compulsory but i am giving here this is the option for notifications so we can fix the 10 minutes or 30 minutes or as you like you can be customize so here we can give the some kind of instruction like welcome to all this kind of instruction we may give it from here then this is a main options to add the guest so i just i'm giving the other mail id of mine tiagusuryakgmail.com for the demo purpose tiagusuryakgmail.ac.com then i'm giving the another mail id tiagumotagmail.com so in this manner we can add the guest what is the advantage of adding the guest in the sense the guest uh, without asking the permission uh, to join the meeting so for that we can use this kind of guest mode and uh, if you want to guest permission to modify event or invite others or see guest list you can enable it otherwise you can disable it so i fix everything i like to send the notification to them that's why i'm going to click save once i click save there is a small pop up menu may comes in this pop up menu there is option don't send and send so don't send means they won't get any kind of notifications because while we fix while in making it 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 not goes to the uh, the mail notification but uh, before 10 minutes or 30 minutes i already fixed the notification it may reach them so now i like to send the notification as a invitation therefore i am clicking as a send once i click send automatically uh, which are the people i given as a guest mode they may be get my mail so this is a first process how to schedule the event the second process is very much important how we can change the ownership for example uh, i have this some program at the same time of tomorrow that particular date i fix no that particular time i have some other meeting so how we can change the meeting ownership to others that things i may focusing so we already fixed the schedule so in this schedule we may find out the this options the demo google meet this is a, only the meeting i schedule now i am going to be, uh, change the ownership this is a second process i am going to highlight now once we click the the google calendar of the demo uh, google meet this is a meeting uh, name i created then immediately the google meet editable mode may comes it's open there in the right side we are finding the options called more actions if i click the more actions lot of option you may found print delete duplicate and all but in the end we may get into the another options called change owner so this is a option we can change the host or change the ownerships 
if you click the change owner it asks to the the owner name just i am giving the owner name tiagocuk@gmail.com then after this if i click change owner the immediately the new owner will get an email with their link until the new owner accept the ownership we uh, so that particular person to host know that that person will be act as a owner if the new owner is accept the invitations after that it, the ownership may change to the the new persons in this manner we can change the the ownership or the hosting permission to anyone in the google meet i hope it may be very useful for you thank you we'll meet in the other lecture bye